Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Unity of Command 2. This is the tor to quote unquote tutorial overview series, but it's really now just turned into the Normandy breakout scenario. A uh, couple of things I want to mention. Off camera, uh, not that I wanted this to happen, but I did execute this and... Yeah, there's nothing to undo. I don't I was trying to figure out what it, what it wanted me to undo. I just loaded the game. So, um... There was a tank here and I attacked that with this guy. This guy, I should say. He lost his specialist. I did a feint attack with this guy. Then I attacked with this guy. And then this guy also did the attack. So I did all that just to try to get um, this one square. Now, most unfortunate, this huge clump of juicy, juicy reinforcements. We cannot get to it. And St. Malo will not be ours this turn. Now, the glorious thing is this huge railroad which we have now completely liberated is going to carry supply for us and what you've seen is another thing i did off camera is i moved this was down from three now down to one and i moved that so we can actually put the supply the vehicles wherever we want the dumps the supply networks anywhere along this road which is wonderful so next turn we'll be able to eliminate both of these i presume and uh, we'll be able to move um everything forward so the uh, supply dumps from here on you can see we're getting three trucks next turn and we'll eliminate these two so in two extra turns actually next turn basically we'll have another two available the turn after that when we shut these two down because i don't think anybody's going to need it unfortunately right now people do need it i don't know if anybody needs this one yeah so actually nobody needs this one we'll just remove that directly and we'll have four trucks next turn this is just important because we, we we need to start pushing supply forward. And actually, these two units, this tank and this tank, were both cut off unless I moved the supply forward to there. But I did, and we're all covered now. Now, the problem is that removing the supply from this area does cut off this northern area. And I had a lot of good suggestions from J J Jacobo, or J Jacopo. Uh, I've never figured out how to pronounce his name correctly. Mr. Mangini, as I normally call him. Uh, so he had some really excellent advice, which I'm, I'm just going to pull up on my monitor here. He said that, uh, first of all, prestige is purely cash, and the score is only seen with this score sheet here. So we can see my score is 150, minus 28 because of casualties, minus 5 because I did destroy a city or a bridge somewhere. I don't know where I did, but it happened. And the reason why I had the 25 out of 50 for Alvarez is apparently I took it two turns late. Now, I thought I was only maybe only one turn late. And the reason, I, I mean, it doesn't make sense to me, in fact, that you can take something two turns late and still get half credit. So, I mean, it seems like very generous even. If you take it one turn late, I understand taking getting half, but then two turns late, in my opinion, you should get zero. Regardless, I didn't see, so I think it was, I trust Mr. Mangini, basically. Um, and it looks like we're going to be able to take Le Mans I think we'll be, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to take Le Mans um, right on schedule. So again, we just had a little bit of a setback over here and we now we've pushed supply forward and there's might be some stuff still I need to do. I definitely need to at least look if there's anything else. This is really wonderful that we took Evra, Evru, Ev whatever. <laughs> and these guys can't move, this guy can't move. I don't think any of these guys can move. Let's just see. Oh. But the only place he can move is backwards, so just no point. He'll be back in supply. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did not mean to do that. Would be wonderful if that guy could get on the road, because then he'd be given supply for sure, guaranteed. Uh, so that's going to be our goal, is to get all these people onto the road. So I talked about getting people emergency supply. Well, guess what? We don't actually have to give them emergency supply. If we can just get them onto this thoroughfare, they will be, no matter what, for sure, supplied next turn. So we'll get this guy here, I think. Oh, oh, if only he can make it. He actually, none of these guys can move. They'll all be supplied next turn, which is good. So I guess I can get him all the way over here. This guy can't move, but he'll be supplied next turn. So we'll get him here. Yeah, the most unfortunate thing is that I can't take that huge lump of stuff. Um, we're going to move this guy here. We can move this guy. Oh, see? I would, can I, let me see how many I can undo. Oh, good. I, I'm going to move this guy here instead. Then we can move this guy. Who is it? 
yeah, we can move this guy here instead, so he'll be in for sure in supply. Um, this guy can move. So you will move out to here. This one seems like it's not that bad. <laughs> Just hoping. Just going on hope here. So this guy's going to move to the supply depot. At least he'll get supply next turn. Yeah, he's actually losing forces because he's been out of supply for three turns. Which is not good. So, um, it's just very unfortunate these guys, well, let me undo that. I don't know exactly where they want to go. Uh, okay, so we want to get these guys onto the railroad if we can, just to prevent them from being out of supply. Also, these guys are part of the first, and the Bradley and the first might move... I don't know, I think only I think I'm only gonna push Patton to the west. I think we're just gonna sprint and take Brest and all these places. We have until turn nine, which I think if I'm if my assumptions are correct, we only have like a few units in this entire area. The main thing is gonna be supply, so mainly making sure we move along railways and otherwise the HQ. However, I think it's much more important. Turn eight we need Chartez, and that's just coming up so quickly. So our force, our, we really have to direct our forces over to Le Mans. Obviously, we have to take that next turn. And then uh, over to Chartez and Paris subs or suburbs very quickly. And this is an 11 turn uh, scenario, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, so Yacobo also said that we can, we can actually blow the bridges here if we wanted. That would prevent, it would be kind of like a, a security blanket. That we wouldn't need to worry about an invasion from this area. I actually don't think we're going to need to do that. I'm gonna wait and see, but basically the only move, the only unit that could actually infiltrate is if the Le Havre, uh, Le Havre, however you say that, chose to leave the town and be aggressive. That would actually be a great thing for us. We would kill the unit and then move and take Le Havre for free. Uh, not that we need it, because there's no objectives up here. Basically, this is just providing um, a little supply, a pleasant spot for the HQ to camp. Maybe it's a reinforcement area, so maybe there is an incentive to take it in that we could eliminate the uh, the ability for them to reinforce. But the main thing we want to do is start pushing to the southeast. So th it's really fun. This is truly a breakout. Like you can feel that we've smashed the original forces. Really done a good job, I think. Um, and now the main thing is just put people on rail lines so that we have as much as possible people. Even this guy, he's on the supply line. I don't think that's gonna count. Nah, that one's not, unfortunately. So both of these guys might be out of supply next turn, but it'll only be their first turn. So this guy might have a second turn, but this railway, just conquering this line, I think it was hugely important. Now it's be very important for this guy to get um, on the rail. So I'm gonna have him, although he could, yeah, although he could um, move a lot further forward, I'm gonna have him just sit on this line which oh it's not actually until we take that it's not it doesn't actually matter so we'll just move him here he'll probably need to receive the emergency supply next turn and we'll get this guy here get this guy here i think i'll do, do, i think i'm gonna do it this way yeah no, it doesn't really matter and i think everybody has moved now um i also think whoops let's reset that we don't have anything left to do the only thing we could do, I think I actually already did, is reinforce. Oh, no, we didn't do it. Okay, so we can choose if we want to reinforce some armor. We have two armor pips, which apparently can only be added to this guy. I think we'll, his um, current experience is 280, and I think it's worth the steps that'll take him down to, to 240, but I think it's worth it. Um, so we'll do that. Didn't even cost prestige. I don't even know how to use prestige to add steps or what how that all works, but that's gonna make this unit much more combat effective. And uh, we're charging forward, we might as well be deploying forces that we basically picked up. That like, so these men, the, they've all vacated my poor, the 83rd US uh, infantry. Uh, all these three units will be put back on, or we can put those back on. I think it's only a limit of two steps per HQ per turn. So, um, it's a limited amount you can deploy, but we'll be deploying as many as we can. Might lose some guys from this one, because <laughs> they've been out of supply two turns. And I think that's it. So now we can move the patent as well now, and I think that would be wise to do. Let's get him as, well, I mean, we can move him over to here directly. I, 
and I think that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, he yeah, that's his perfect move. So we'll be able to push a lot further next turn. So that means I, I guess I am kind of conceding that Bradley will move south and Patton will move west to take the the Brest Peninsula, Brest Lorient. Yeah, and we, we should with the armor that uh, Patton has, we should just be running through anything we find. Yeah. Okay. So good. Let's end this turn. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I don't think anybody has any points left, and I think that because I stupidly moved already, we cannot deploy the steps for the HQs. I just haven't been using that, but Yakobo was mentioning that to me, so we'll try to we'll try to take that into better consideration in future turns. Oh, interesting. What the heck? Well, that's I did not even know they could just bypass my. I did not realize they can just bypass my zone of control. Only 12 units disrupted. That's not not nearly that bad. Where the hell did you guys even come from? Wow, that's a fascinating. Oh, whoop, whoop, let me undo that. I don't want to necessarily move anybody yet. So these guys lost a whole bunch. Okay, let's see, how, how are we doing here? We only have one unit that's at an out of supply two turns. Yes, and this guy got his supply back perfect. So in a weird way, it might be better to have supply points all along. Anyway, we can take this, which is great. Oh yeah, these guys were on the road, but interesting. So the supply, ro that's interesting. Okay, it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. We obviously need to kill this guy now, and I think it might be worth dropping our bombs on him. Because he's in the open. I think, yeah, this is the open. So we'll just do this. That was very useful. One on one. One on one. Well, let's just, I think that there's nothing else. I can't imagine anything else being as important. We're gonna have a chance to use suppress a fire on this guy. Our tanks are not gonna be happy. Okay, so we're gonna eliminate this guy immediately. I think that's what my tank is going to do. Okay, was not an overrun. But I think we do this, this is kind of bizarre, but I think we do this expecting that we're gonna, expecting, really expecting. Oh, what, why are we out of range? Oh, of course we are. But I, um, we're gonna do this just taking a lot of territory, expecting that we'll be back in HQ range by the end of this turn. So that's just gonna be some crazy maneuvering. <laughs> now we can move forward here, which will block this guy's retreat. And put this guy in a position to attack. One and one, four zero. So what can you do? Oh, you can do suppress a fire? That's exactly what I want you to do then. I don't think there's any anything better I can ask. Perfect. And now you still can move a lot. And we will be moving him a lot. So let's kind of take a look at the everything else. Ooh, yeah, a lot of these guys didn't get supply that really needed it. So, you know, it was not a bad maneuver on their part. Uh, I think I'm just gonna drop my other bomb on this guy. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to make it back anyway, so... Yeah, now it's an 0-2 situation. Let's just get the guy furthest back who can do that. Actually, we... So this is the guy who will do the attack, but we now need somebody else who can do a one-on-one. -on -one. That's... I think that's what I want. Let's do this. So he can attack, but I actually want him... I don't know if he'll be able to get out of the way. Yeah, so let's take the guy who can do the 0 and 2. This guy? This guy cannot? Okay, good. So you, you could in theory get there as well, but let's just have you go here. And okay, so that's, you, we need you to get, <laughs> get out of the way. Move this guy maybe into position. 1 and 1, uh, 0 and 3. That's not good. If he moves here, he'll have one movement left. Can he do a feint? 
Let's just move here. I don't think it will reveal anything. He can't, so let's undo it. Because he's useless then. Might as well have him, like, capture territory. Maybe he's useful to go that way. 3 0, is that the same thing? It is. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Is this guy, he's. Not out of supply, just been out of supply one turn, but now we've reconnected him, okay. Still a one and one. Now that's an own one, which is, I think that's our best bet. Move in, take that. Probably gonna move this guy onto the road this turn. Um, yeah, is there anything else? I mean, we could bisect the map and just make sure that there's no movement of stuff. What are you? Are you, you're a patent, so you're gonna move, you're moving west. And that is the other interesting side of things. Okay, this guy's been out of supplies for two turns. We're not gonna push it there. We're definitely gonna let this just sit. So this is now all reconnected, which means that if this guy goes here, it'll be connected as well. Let's not have him go there though, because Basically, we, we don't want somebody who's totally out of supply to go there. <laughs> oh my god, you need emergency supply. I think I'm just gonna... Uh, what? Oh, Patton was out of supply even because of that maneuver. That was a really devastating maneuver. I mean, it was a really good job because I think that armor was dead anyway. Oh, we have an 0-2 already. This is perfect. So we'll, we'll take that, obviously. That's gonna make it probably a, just a done deal for these guys to move in. And we'll be able to capture the supply as well, which just everyone huddle around. <laughs> We're about to get some free supply. I'm trying to figure out how best to do this now. Out of range from Bradley. Okay, well, Bradley, you're going to have to do some moving. But first, let's get Bradley to deploy forces and to do emergency supply for things. Okay, yeah, perfect. If this guy gets emergency supply, which we're going to do for him, he can move forward, no problem. And he can now... We don't need him to take that. Interesting. We'll have him move there. So he could do a one-on-one -on -one attack with that. We're just going to starve these guys out, though. I mean, they have no supply. They won't have, they'll start losing people more and more as the turns go on. No, no reason to rush that. Although, yeah, I mean, this is, I think I'm like really getting excited because things are looking better and better. This guy's probably a very good candidate for emergency supply, so we can just push really strong into the open. I think we're going to have to do that. Like, why is this? Oh, it's a blown bridge. So we have to either just cross this like a crazy man, or we can go here. We'll probably go there. Um, we'll repair that. Well, it's going to be hard to say. You might be another candidate for emergency supply, although, yeah, again, I don't know if there's any way, oh, anybody who's almost out of supply, what are you, Bradley? You're Patton. You can't make it far enough to the east anyway. You're Patton. I mean, you're Dempsey, so you're kind of in the wrong area altogether, but. So move this guy forward. Oh, that's going to take the supply point, though. Let's do probably something like this. This guy's moving this way. This guy, I want him to move here and then probably move here. Good. Those guys might get this as well. We want this guy to move forward, definitely. Yeah, he's British, so let's move him right here. And now I guess we have nothing else to do but to take it which gave a few of these guys supply, which is perfect. Now, this guy actually has plenty of movement left available. Okay, well, where's your headquarters? You are the British, which is right there. So we have the Can Canadians are here, the British are here. Might move the British down here at the end of this turn. No need to do it yet. Let's just first look and see if there's anybody who really needs emergency supply. There's nobody. Oh man, the British are in good, good, good shape. Which means we can use, I want to actually look at the British and see their units down here, down here, right here. Oh, this guy, he could use some love. <laughs> Let's go to the HQ and deploy our steps. Armor, 
So we could deploy some armor steps here. I wish we could do a specialist. I think we'll put one on here though, just to make it, I mean, is he gonna be able to move after that? I don't think so, so we'll probably put the one point on this guy actually, make him elite. They're both at 270, so they'll take him down to 250. I think it's okay. Or else who would take the infantry? I mean, this guy needs it, right? He probably needs both of those, so let's, oh, he can't move anyway. Okay, let's just deploy the steps to him and he'll hopefully be better next turn. Um, and now we still have plenty. I mean, th this HQ, ah, has one person who's available. He can move here and then do it. Yeah, I think that that's the best bet. Just move him here, do that attack. Is he gonna be out of command if he does that? No, still be in command. Man range, I should say. He goes up there, he is out, but here he's not. Very good. Oh wow, he was an overrun even, so he can keep moving. But this is exactly the limitations. <laughs> that may change though as we push forward in these other places. Like here, it's a very important one I think. Probably are even going to push further forward. Here, I'm assuming not out of. Yeah, this is the British still. And the British at HQ is probably going to also move forward. Um, I think this is worth doing. Whoops, did not even mean to do that, but I guess I decided. So I was thinking about sending him down to tours just to bisect the map, but I think we don't need to. We can start kind of taking some shots at Chartez. I don't even know. Maybe Chartez, for all we know, it's not even defended. Wouldn't that be something? So you've got your people. So yeah, we're going to start. Push him, folks, really far forward. The Canadians should go up to the north, though. Let's start putting the British to the south. Oh my god, Mr. Bradley. Can I undo this? I can't. I really want to undo this movement. <laughs> Mr. Bradley, you've gone, you've gone much too far. I think we'll be in command range for everyone if we can move this guy just... Yeah, I don't... What else is... What else are the Bradley forces gonna do? This guy can move and maybe do something. We're gonna have this guy move south actually, since he's Bradley and not Patton. Bit of a bummer actually, because this guy really, this is Patton's last. Uh, I think <laughs> it's gonna have to be used here. I was considering it, like maybe we can get away with it, but no, we really, really cannot. Yeah, I think this is a, a charge from here. Um, You know, the other thing I could have done with that, if I undo it, does it, yeah, so it does. The other thing I could do is repair this bridge. However, what if I use somebody else to repair the bridge? For example, I just talked about how Bradley has all these points and nothing to do with them, right? So I think what we'll do with Bradley is have him repair this bridge. And that's the only bridge that we can repair. So this is a perfect thing. Is it repaired immediately? Not until next turn, okay. Well, that makes, that only makes sense. I was, I would've been surprised, but. That means that we can go ahead and give this guy his stuff back. He'll probably, I think he might have lost a few. Anyway, we'll be able to advance at least. Can actually advance so far in any direction. Oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna have to pause the video and <laughs> lick my lips and figure out which one I actually wanna do. Yeah, cause I actually, this entire area is now gonna be in command. So we just wanna make sure we leave one other person to make sure that the road doesn't get cut off. So this guy can move, he can move out of the way. Um, yeah, I, I'll probably pause the video real fast and take a look at my options over here. Let's, I mean, I'll, I'll do that in a moment, but let's, I'm licking my lips. I'm so eager to keep going. The guy, this guy's massively, <laughs> he, he, got, he read the wrong road sign. 
he went the wrong way. Uh, this guy is Canadian, so yeah, that's right. We wanted him probably on this road. Just send him that way. Uh, the U.S. This is another Bradley. Now, Bradley, I'm not sure exactly which way they're gonna go. Like, Bradley's here is probably okay. Is he gonna push in the south? So the question is, how much does Patton have? Does Patton have enough that this is Patton's? Let's get this guy over here. This seems perfect. Actually, he'll be in supply literally even where he is, but we can get him to here. And next turn, he'll be fine. We can get this guy to go here. Now we can drop this we don't need and on top of that um, we actually have four supply trucks we can use who is anywhere near out of supply almost nobody it looks like we've done a pretty good job putting people on the road on the highways the railroads which was intelligent yeah I'll check this out in a moment but let's go up here this might be interesting uh, yeah we still have some British armor that can do terrible terrible things we're almost to the actually we're almost to the Paris suburbs and this guy, after his attack, he might be best off. Is there a way, if we move here, let me just, if I move there and it doesn't work, I'll be, I'll be bummed. You're British as well, so you also cannot go any further. Actually, we don't know that. Uh, the Canadian armor, where do I want, I, I, okay, it'd be, if we can do this, it would be amazing. So let me just do this. We can get into Rune. I think we're going to do that and attack this guy. Is he out of range? He is. But we can probably fix that by moving the headquarters again. So we'll do that at the end of this turn. What's more is, I, I, I mean, I guess we can move backwards. It won't. He still won't be in range even if we move backwards. But um, yeah, we're so close. In fact, we recon in force. He's out of range, so we can't. That would have been awesome if we could actually get through to there. Oh, we almost can. We cannot, but we almost can. So he's out of range. We'll move him back. Basically, I, just, I did that. This is, again, if we can disrupt this headquarters, maybe that prevents um, new reinforcements from coming in. So let's see how far it does. So it's definitely going to push a little bit further. We definitely can move this guy this way or this way and be fine. So. Let's see, who's best off to move? I think this guy. Let's move him down here. Perfect. That reconnected the line. That probably makes everything better. Does that make anything better for this guy? Nah, he's still out of range. So, make sure we know our limits. British should be heading south. Canadian. Nope, they're all British. So, the, the only <laughs> Canadian out of the, <laughs> is this northern one. You're British Airborne, so we have a lot of British, and they're all not going the right way. Well, okay, let's do this. I think we can go further. Eh, just not. Eh, we can't do it. Okay, the British has to move as well. <laughs> not I, I, That's not that surprising, right? And I think we're going to have them both move down this path. Like, okay, the British, the Canadian will probably move to Evroy. Yeah, I think they'll move there. So who's Canadian, who's British? British, British, British. British. This is Polish, so this is Canadian. Okay. Um, so we actually want you to be the one moving, yeah, like this. Yeah, we're going to push forward, so I think that this is still okay. This will force this headquarters to pull back. And it might even disrupt... It did. Their lines. That's perfect. He's out of range. We'll fix that next turn. I, You know what? I would like to undo that because I'm, I am re, I've revealed stuff, so unfortunately I can't. But yeah, this is truly a breakout. We're just steaming. Okay, these are Canadian infantry, so they are the ones who should be moving this direction. It's British, so they should be moving this direction. Again, we want to keep them on the... Yeah, I think it's still worth it to try to keep them on the rails. Can you move? No. So we'll just move this guy here. 
This guy is actually going to be in range of the HQ when we move him forward. So the Canadians to the north, let me try to remember that. Canadian can't move. Canadian to the north. There, that's better. Uh, British, well, I don't think it matters. Just move as far forward as you can, really. <laughs> this British, yeah, he should be on the rail this time because he did not get supply last turn. Another British. Push him down this road. And the Canadians can't move. British, just pushing as far to the east as possible. Which is not... Not extremely possible. These guys are all mucking it up. It doesn't look like it's even worse than the forest. The supply. Alright, well, we'll just keep moving this way. Destination Chartez. See how that goes. Yeah, this is the Bradley folk. <laughs> you know, I don't think these Bradley folk need to move this way, so I will probably move them back. Which, I mean, this guy can't move any direction anyway, so... All right, so who is out of supply or command range? Oh, you're actually out of, yeah, you're just out of, I think it's the only the Canadians that need to move forward. Yeah, so let's move this guy to Ev Evro. Is anybody else out of command now? British, American, American, American. British, great. So if the British move forward, they shouldn't, should actually not, let me undo that. Pretty sure the Canadians had points available, you know, like eight of them. <laughs> um, let's do emergency supply. And let's pair bridges, pontoons. Maybe we'll make some pontoons. Um, just to allow easy transportation between different areas. I think it might be worth it. Okay. Don't know if that about that last one. Let's see if there's any other bridges to repair. I don't see any. Wait. Yeah, okay, it, it gave me the cannot do. That's good. Um, recon enforce, nope, can't do that. We do want to... Nope, can't deploy anything. Oh, I think they already did. Sure, we can't do that. Motor pool might actually be useful here. It helps them to move faster. So, did we already... Yeah, there's nobody else who needs emergency supply. We don't really need the pontoon bridge. I mean, we built the one that might be useful. I don't even remember where it was. <laughs> Probably won't be useful. But... Let's... I think... I think it, okay, where, where do we, I don't even remember where we built it. Where do we build that pontoon bridge? They're, they're all over the place. Thought it was up here. Maybe not. Oh, there we did. We built it right there. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's unnecessary probably, but it's fine. Because there's going to be this railroad, which you're going to choose instead. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Let's, um, yeah, let's do this motor pool thing to get this guy. Yes, perfect. I just wanted to get him back on the road. It's just going to save us from any potential supply disruption. This guy can advance. This guy can advance. Okay. And now this HQ has already deployed. And now we should move forward to Evra. Good. And nobody's out of range. Okay, fantastic. So, actually nobody's... Wow, that's perfect. And now this guy, probably in really good shape, can move forward, no, no sweat. I don't know if we should, though. I'm gonna stay in rune because, yeah, I don't, I don't, I actually don't think it's a good idea to move there. Uh, British, British, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll figure the rest out. Let me quickly put that pause in the video, just scanning all these guys. And then we'll go over to the east and see how far Patton wants to push. But yeah, I think the I think the uh, Americans will actually pull back to the left, to the west, and they'll head over to Saint Nazare. Nazare. I I don't know if that's how you say it, but French has always been difficult for me. <laughs> yeah. So let me map this out and then commit to that. And we may even need to drop 
more supply points here. Um, nobody's actually out of range yet, but it's good to think ahead about where we might want things. This is going to be so beautiful. Getting, I think that might make it back to the headquarters, but then the headquarters, yeah, yeah, then the headquarters, going to have to figure out where he wants to go. And now we control everything on the west or southwest side of the, what is that river called? I, the Seine? Seine? Sign? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. But anyway, so I'll explore this and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm not really convinced that this is the most successful way of doing it, but let me move all the way here. Hmm, wow, that was <laughs> fortuitous. I mainly wanted to make sure I wasn't out of HQ range. I don't think I will be, but we actually do see I can grab some extra troops here. Although, I can get them with this guy, which is what I'll do instead. This guy's now going to move north. I don't think we're going to... So, eh, they're not on the road, so they're, they're, it's not a guarantee that they'll be supplied. Uh, okay, but next turn they will be. Well, okay, it's not a guarantee. So because it's not a guarantee, I almost think we should just move... Nah, doesn't really make sense. I want this guy to be in HQ range of Patton so that we can give him emergency supply next turn. Um, and that's going to go for a lot of these guys. So this guy I'm going to keep on the road here. Railroad, because he's already missed two turns, so we just cannot risk him being out of supply yet again. I can actually just do something weird like cross over, take this, and go back to this. <laughs> I don't know if that's meaningful to do, but um, this guy can't move. This is another Patton guy who's really down on his luck as far as <laughs> uh, just had a hell of a time in that battle with the other German armor. Um, it's really difficult to, if I leave him here, he'll be able to use the highway next turn. So it's kind of a tough call what we want to do with him. Now the only uh, Bradley armor we can use is this one. So this guy made it as far as he could, and he's now out of range of Bradley. But that's because Bradley's stuck here, which will change. Now I guess I'll do this. I will give him this emergency supply. There's no, I, there's no other bridges or stuff that we can build or whatever, right? It's only two to do that anyway, but uh, man, it'd be interesting. I didn't even look at what the British ought to do, but um, okay, so Bradley, he does that. This guy is going to be, supposedly he'll be out of supply for a turn, but we're going to keep our push going to, in that direction. Uh, you are going to move this way. In fact, I think we'll move you directly here. You can't make it that far. Can you now? Okay, so you'll get supply next turn. You'll guard the, the depot. Um, this is Patton as well. So I think we'll do this and then use his extra movement to put him back on the highway, just so he we make sure. It's kind of nice to, so what are you, you're Patton. You're technically going the wrong way, but I really do want to do this. Yeah, I think we'll do this. Well, we have to put him back on the highway, but it is nice to kind of blaze this area. This acts, acts as a buffer for me, so I know when the enemy... It's basically like finding out where the troops are. I don't think that there's any German troops in this entire area. Again, that's why I had this idea to bisect the map, so that I know they have to eliminate my territory to... Uh, get anywhere, but I'm pretty sure that they just they just have nothing left. Um, this guy can't move. Can't move. One sec. Had to sneeze. Um, Patton, he can move forward, and he's really out of. <laughs> he's not in good shape. Oh. Hmm. This guy can not make it there. This is Patton can not make it there. Wow, interesting that all the people I want to make it there can. 
So who do we need on that supply depot? This guy can move. I think we will push this guy out. No, because he just doesn't have any... We need him to be... Well, he actually needs to be emergency resupply no matter what. So, yeah, I will. That's my primary candidate for emergency supply. <laughs> then we can get these guys forward more. Um, you, who have not been out of supply at all, can actually move off map. I mean, off this area. So we'll move you here. This will also pen in this guy, because I'll have somebody come here. And then this guy will go here. That makes sense to me. In fact, we didn't even end up moving one of our guys into the HQ, or, or I should say into the depot, but that, that should be fine. Now, who is out of uh, command range? You? Yeah, but what else can you do, Bradley? Nothing. So let's deploy your steps, which are not available to deploy, so let's just move you right here. And only one person now is out of range, which is perfect. So that worked out. Uh, you are, what's your deal? This HU has been out of supply for one turn, two command points suppressed. Okay, that's not bad. It will not be out of supply this next turn. So actually, honestly, we should probably move, start moving him forward even. <laughs> Here? Yeah, that, that should be basically the same thing anyway. There's nobody... So the... Yeah, he doesn't have any forces that far east. So, that's good. And I think that's all we're going to do for this turn. I, I don't think there's anybody else to move. I love it when the map gets really spread out. I feel like the, there's more tactics involved. It's less puzzly. It's more strategic. So, just my thoughts. I think I'll pause the video real fast here, double check everyone to make sure there's no one I want to move, and then we'll see you back in a sec. Okay, I looked around and there are a couple of things I'm going to do in the end. Over here on the west, just one more thing I'm going to correct. Move this very weak unit back so he's hidden. Um, expecting that he should not be the, the tip of the spear moving forward. This guy who's going to get emergency supplied and hopefully get all that back next turn. We're going to put him in charge of the, the spear front. Then over here, we actually have, um, so the British HQ has plenty of things to do. Can deploy some armor, cannot deploy armor, but uh, what it can do is recon and force. So we have, we can actually do this to recon here, and that takes that territory for us. We can do the same thing here. We can recon and force, do this, just lets us know that that's there. And then we can recon and force over here, our last one, just to take that territory. I mean, we weren't going to do anything with those points anyway. And I think I'm going to move the British one here. It's kind of problematic because I don't want to, I, I'm a little worried about eliminating this guy. So I have to be very conservative. In fact, I don't know if I'm actually going to move the British one this turn. I want to ideally go down here. I, we don't really need tours. This was a not a limited map. <laughs> it's like a weird desire for me to, to take tours. I don't think it's going to benefit us at all, but okay. That, so that's all I want to do this turn then. Do I want to move the British battlefield forward? The only thing I wanted to do, or at least I thought about doing. So these are Canadians. This guy's British. How come he doesn't show up? Oh, he's... Oh, I did not... I was just looking at the British, but we should have been looking down here. So these guys are all Canadian. Okay, that's really good to know. Oh, that's awesome. These guys say they're British, but they're actually Canadian. Well, they're under the Canadian HQ. So this is the only one that I have to worry about. So then my British HQ can go this way. At least he can go to Le Mans. I don't actually know if that's going to be helpful. I can move one down, but I'm going to start eliminating these guys. So that means this, although it's... Yeah, okay, that one's Canadian for sure. Yeah, otherwise all of this is the British, and the Canadians are 1, 2, 3 right here. Otherwise this is... Well, mostly this is <laughs> Americans, actually. 
I guess I'm going to keep the British Command HQ right where it is. <laughs> I, I can't make up my mind, so... We're, we don't have anybody who's out of supply. If we hold the V, we're just looking for these square dots, but in very, very big. If it's a very, very big square dot, then we got a problem. Um, it might be worth it to move this here and put another one here. I guess we can take care of that next turn. So let's go ahead and, because I, I know that basically we need to end this video and wrap up this turn. Let's go ahead and end the turn here and that'll get, allow me to Look at what we might want to do. Wait, you're, yeah, okay, you're in command range. Good. So let's end the turn. Scary, it's very scary to end the turn. It's the same way with all these turn based games like Advanced Tactics. Well, did he actually abandon Chartez? Huh. Interesting, kind of abandoned it. They move somebody else in. That means he won't have any, their unit will not have any, um, what's it called? Five units, only five units. It's fantastic. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so we're we're in really good shape. And they did not move into the city. I don't know why that is. So probably, I mean, the, we. I can't wait to do the next turn, but it cannot happen right now, unfortunately. This guy is going to die. <laughs> There's no way around it. So, uh, But again, we'll just do all of this next turn. We have lots of exciting... Uh, lots of excitement left in this battle. Yeah, this guy, unfortunately, he is going to require one of the emergency supplies. It's almost a guarantee that I'm going to use it there. And we'll probably go over here to cut off their supply directly. We can actually O2 that guy. Is Chartez completely undefended? I don't understand. Okay, I have to know. Kill, overrun. It's undefended. Amazing. <laughs> We're going to take Chartez. If we can, this is British, we'll take it with the British. Uh, the, with the infantry, I should say. Yeah, you say you're out of range, but just wait. So if we do any movement this way, it should be... Yeah, I think we're just... Let me just look at the... Yeah, I think we're going to move all the British forces east. I'm not going to bother with that idea to push the border south. I believe that any of the forces that would have been down there are honestly being pulled back so anyway this has been a long video it's been a lot of fun i'm enjoying the game more and more and I, I actually really am excited to start a campaign after this maybe not immediately but i feel like i've learned enough about the game that i could be very successful and i haven't seen a lot of people honestly in the youtube space being extremely successful i i mean i almost get the feel that they didn't even really know what they were doing this is this is like a guarantee right we're gonna we're gonna do this for sure but Okay, it'll hold off until the next turn. So thanks for watching and until the next video, take care.